in this video we are going to see about the exam pattern and about the syllabus of Keltron engineer examination. So there is an online examination happening for the selection of engineers in Keltron. A lot of people has actually requested for this video that is the exam pattern and exam syllabus of the Keltron engineer examination. Okay. So I have not included all the syllabus or all the topics from the syllabus as such but I have included all the important topics for that it is easy for you to prepare. Okay. So from this topics maximum questions you can expect all the important topics in anyway, which I have included. Okay. So first we are going to see about the exam pattern then we will be seeing the syllabus okay exam patterns mean which all area you have to prepare and what is the weightage given approximately i'll give you an idea okay and also i want to tell you that if you are preparing for any examinations of electronics we are doing uh, exam preparation videos for various subjects and you can find the um, subject wise videos in the subject playlist and also for the important examinations we are doing separate preparation videos and that is included in the respective playlist okay so if you are interested in watching those videos please do subscribe to the channel okay so we, so in this video we are going to see about the exam pattern and the syllabus of keltron engineer examination okay so there is an online examination going to happen there will be negative marks also and what all areas you have to prepare let us see okay so first one is reasoning is the uh, area and there will be 15 questions and 15 marks is the mark allowed. There can be slight variations in the marking, but the weightage is almost the same. Okay. Then general English, 15 questions, 15 marks. General knowledge and general awareness. There will be 20 questions and 20 marks. Then from your respective subject or your trade or your discipline, there will be 50 questions and 50 marks will be there. Okay. So this is the weightage approximately. There can be slight variations, but the weightage will be almost same. And maximum mark will be from your subject. Okay, so if you are preparing for any these type of engineer examinations, you should mostly concentrate on your ex, uh, your subject. Okay, that is whichever discipline you are belonging to, you have to focus mostly on that. So here also we can see that maximum weightage is given to your subject. Okay, total hundred marks examination will be there, and hundred questions will be there. And as I've told, there will be negative marking also. Okay, now moving on to the syllabus. Which all topics you have to prepare from this areas? Let us see. I will be also showing you the image of the uh, topics I am explaining. Okay, on the screen. Now, the first area is reasoning. So, the topics that you have to prepare is logical reasoning is there. Then, blood relationship. That is the relations connecting various family family members. And they will be asking in a twisted way. Okay, that is blood relation. Then, non-verbal reasoning. Coding and decoding. Some coding uh, schemes will be given to you and you have to find which code will be coming as an output. Or decoding. The reverse of it. Then analytical reasoning. Data sufficiency. Number series. is a very commonly asked type of question. Number series. Then decision making. You have to make that what will be coming as a decision or what will be coming as a conclusion of the given statements. Okay. Then data date and city. Okay. There can be a lot of twisted questions come from the date and the city, then directions. Direction means a person is going in this direction, then turns to north, east, likewise. Okay. I'm just giving a brief about all the areas. Anyway, this is a very common area that is reasoning. Okay. Next is from English subject. You have to prepare substitution, synonyms, antonyms, sentence completion, active and passive voice, spotting of errors, very, very important. Then passage completion, idioms and phrases, para completion, spelling test, fill in the blanks and join your sentences. So this type of questions you can face in any, these type of competitive examinations you are going for. Okay. So that is all about the English subject or the general English. These are all topics you have to prepare. Next is general knowledge. A lot of questions can come from the current affairs, current important things or scenarios happening, the political situations or the history of India, all those things you have to cover, all the basic things you should be knowing, okay. So, I'm going to give you the important topics. So, you have to prepare sports, then basic GK, most important inventions, politics, Indian culture, then basics of computer, very, very important, physics, history, economy, botany, days and dates, most important days and most important day, uh, days and dates, then books and authors, and also the prices, won by various authors for various books likewise then chemistry 
zoology and environment so these are the areas you have to prepare from the general awareness and general knowledge okay so that is the these are the three common areas next moving on to the subject that is in this channel we are mainly focusing on electronics so i'll be sharing with you which all topics you have to prepare from the electronic subject so if you want uh, to have a closer look i'll share a link in a uh, description for the other branches i'm talking that is if you belong to some mechanical or computer science or any other branches you can see it on the uh, link that which all topics you have to prepare okay so for the electronics people i'm going to explain to you which all areas or which all topics you have to prepare so the communications both analog and digital communication are very important it's basics all important equations you have to cover then control system and process control optical communication small numerical questions can come from the optical communication session and all okay then signals and systems very important area then basics of circuit and measurements and also electronic measurement and instrumentation okay that is also very important then analog electronics very very important subject transducers various type of transducers are there so questions can come connected to this type of transducers also then electric and electronic measurement and digital electronics digital electronics is also very important a lot of questions can come from the number systems uh, the multiplexers demultiplexers the logical systems all those things okay also the uh, logical simplification some logical equation will be given to you you have to find the simplified version also same regarding the logical gate connections so these are the important uh, areas you have to prepare from the electronic subject and also a lot of people was actually asking me to give or share the question papers of previous year keltron examinations but i couldn't really find any question papers over the internet because some organizations especially government of india organizations don't make their previous year questions available over the internet okay so if anyone is having please to uh, mention that in the comment section or please to share it with me so that i can share it with all the other people okay so uh, that's all about this video so we have seen about the important areas and also the exam pattern okay so if you are preparing for the keltron engineer examination it is very it is very important that you should prepare all these areas and you should prepare as soon as possible or if you have not yet started your preparation please do start it as soon as possible because the time is very very less you have to prepare a lot of things for all other examinations also you have to cover all these basics so if you prepare for this examination it is also beneficial for the other examinations also okay so i'm really hoping that you found this video useful please do share it with all your friends who is preparing for the keltron examination and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching